watched this video on YouTube and they made japchae so she wanted me to try to make it and so I tried this rice is from Trader Joe's this is the bulgogi rice yeah it's bulgogi fried rice or something like yeah. that so from Trader Joe's and that's what I made we'll see if it's good enough I guess <laughs> dig in <laughs> hopefully you like it <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I'm just kidding. No, it's really good. Not bad. It's good together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all lovely. Thank you. It's been a while since I've last vlogged, and I've just been very unmotivated and not in the mood to film. Um, the main thing was because of this. I got a sty like over a week ago, so it's starting to heal up a little bit, but you can still see it's a little swollen right there. So I have not been really just in the mood to film because of that. It was really bad for over a week. Um, and it hurts so bad and I could barely open my eyes. My eye was like literally like this, guys. I've uh, just been really sad about it. Um, just sad in general, um, just with my content. So that's why I didn't like upload for like three weeks. I just, I was always tired. I was always just sad and annoyed. But I wanted to just liven up my mood a little bit. Um, and uh, I have a Sephora haul. It's not too big. It's, it's pretty, it's a pretty tiny haul. I hope this will make me a little happier because makeup always do. And when I am able, to film again. I will definitely be using these products. I feel like I have not put makeup on for over a month. That's the longest I've gone without putting on makeup. Like I used to put makeup on every day. When I get up and go to work, I just like this because I work from home. So it's easier on me, I guess. And I guess it's also helping my skin a little bit. But let's just start off with these ones. These are from Artist Couture. If you guys don't know, this is an influencer's brand. But he came out with this spring collection that I've had my eyes on when it first came out. So it looks like this. It's called Ethereal Bloom. So cute. And the colors might be intimidating to a lot of you guys, but these are the type of colors that I really like. And these two colors are definitely out, a little out of my comfort zone, but these colors were the ones I'm most excited about, especially this one right here. So yeah, I'm excited to play with this palette and I've always wanted to try an Artist Couture palette. So he came out with this Love Sprung face palette as well. So the inside looks like this. Pretty. Okay, yeah, I'm excited to try that. I'm glad that there wasn't a highlighter in there because I did buy this Danessa Myricks Beauty Highlighter Palette. I've been hearing a lot of raves about this brand and especially this highlighter palette. So I really wanted to give it a try. I do really like these type of highlighter palettes because there's just so many to choose from. I hear that this is like buttery, smooth, and all of that. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I got this... YSL Touche Eclat Radiant Touch Concealer. Um, I've just been hearing some raves about this concealer as well. It's supposed to be um, more of a like brightening concealer. So you guys know me, I've always been really into my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Um, so I just kind of wanted to change it up a little bit and try something new. And then lastly, I got this Pat McGrath lipstick. I know a lot of people are not using matte lipstick anymore, but I'm still really into matte lipsticks. I got this in the shade Divine Rose. Okay, so this is kind of like just a mauve pinky rose color, which I love. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. And of course, Pat McGrath, really luxe, high-end brand. So I always know that I can rely on Pat McGrath to um, deliver with her products. That's all that I have for this haul. I told you guys it was it was a mini haul. Like I didn't buy too much stuff. I'm so happy with my purchases and hopefully I'll be able to use it soon because I'm sad. Like I, I miss makeup. I really do. Like I haven't done makeup in like a month just because you know of the pandemic. Uh, I haven't been really um, going out much and because of work and all of that. So and Riza also started her army classes which is um remote but it's like an all-day thing so it's on the weekend as well so it's like 
we can't really even go anywhere on the weekend so yeah so i've just been stuck at home but i'm excited for next month because i will be going back to sac to my hometown see my family um and see everyone there because i miss it and it's gonna be so exciting so yeah i can't wait for that but yeah that's all that i have for this haul hopefully i have things to do today so i can vlog but if not sorry oh actually i want to show you guys i actually bought the little sunset lamp thing let me show you guys real quick okay so i bought this little sunset lamp it has been trending on tiktok and instagram um where this is like a sunset lamp where you can create like a sunset mood so let me show you guys real quick all right so i made it kind of dark here so you can see it better but ta-da you see that? It just has like that nice sunset look to it. Whoa! I love this. Yeah, I haven't played around with this or anything yet. So yeah, you guys are getting a first look at the sunset lamp. Yeah, I should hurry up and start taking some pics with this because I love this. I love this ambiance. Okay, we just got to um, a pho place. We actually ordered takeout for pho because we were craving some. And um, we also got some vermicelli noodles. So yeah, Reza's picking up the order right now. And yeah, I can't wait to eat. I'm hungry right now. I only had Greek yogurt earlier for breakfast or brunch. So yeah, I'm ready for some pho. All right, so this is pho noodles we have some of the stuff to put in the pho and we also have the vermicelli noodles some tripe some beef you want bean sprouts on yours? Mm -hmm. no. oh, what are these? Hmm? Some greens Onions and greens. Okay. I could grab it from that. Oh, I'm put it in the middle. middle. Yeah. Everything I need is on the ground. Good afternoon, time for some brunch. Riza is making herself a nasty nature, what is it, a cereal? A cereal? <laughs> I, just, I just don't really care for it. Me, on the other hand, is going to eat something really yummy and I'm going to be making my yogurt bowl. All right, so I have my usual Trader Joe's um, Greek yogurt with honey, the best. I have some leftover strawberries cacao nibs, granola, and coconut flakes. What if I wake up happy? And what if I wake up sad? Sorry if I said something, something that made you mad. Wishing that I could call you. Bad. When I wake up 
it off with some honey. Guess I'm missing all your energy. That's all I want. And there we have it. Let's take a sneak peek of how Lisa's doing in her army classes. Let's go. Outside of like the, the religious aspects, because people will tend to try to shape it and style it. So it's going to be a lot harder to regulate that and keep people from doing that. That's probably. Yeah, I, I kind of thought about that, how they would implement it, because I think you're right. It would. And I, I, I think in my mind, the way I picture it happening is it's very similar to like someone who has a shaving profile. I think they're probably going to start off with like the quarter inch length. The boys love to accompany Riza in the room, so yeah, they're really chill though. They just lay on the bed and stuff, so hi, hi guys, you come to join me? Hello, hi Pooh, hey buddy, oh yawning. <laughs> No. <laughs> Hello. I don't think I've ever shown you guys a tour of our garage. Woo! Okay, so we parked the car outside, of course. And um, um, yeah, it's a mess. This is why I've never shown you guys. <laughs> but we try to keep it as clean as possible. So we have this rack with our Christmas stuff, Reese's Army stuff, and just... Oh my god! Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! We had our shoe racks over here. So we had one over here, but Reese moved it over there because we're trying to change up the garage a little bit. In the army, we have a new um, like fitness test, and so I know I'm very weak at the deadlift. So we bought the hex bar right here and the mat so that I can practice. I still have to buy more of the dumbbells. I mean the uh, the weights, but it's a start, I guess. Cause all I want is you, is you. It takes two. Cause all I want. We're getting extra fancy rice. <laughs> you grab um shrimp chips. Just a small bag. Oh, down there, down there, down there. Where? Down there. <laughs> hello, hello. So we are on our way to get our first shot of the COVID vaccine. I'm kind of scared. Are you? I hate getting shots. Well, hopefully we just don't get symptoms. Yeah, I think you're more worried about the symptoms. Yeah, I don't care about the shot, it's the symptoms. I'm just uh, I mean, hopefully it should be okay, but we'll have to see. Ta-da! 
first dose done. First dose done. Yay, our second one is scheduled on May 18th. Thankfully, we're doing it soon because we are going to SAC on May 26th. So, yay, we'll be vaccinated by then. My arm is starting to feel a little sore already, but I've been moving it around a little bit. Riza has not felt anything yet, huh? Yeah, not yet. I feel sore already. But I don't know, maybe I'm just a sissy. <laughs> Everything hurts. That's what it is. Everything hurts! <laughs> Scott, what are you doing? <laughs> oh! I just got that on camera. Buddy, can you stay in one spot? Oh, this little guy is scared. It's okay, little bud. It's not gonna hurt you. Just think one step. Oh, huh. oh. Mm -hmm. looks like it's understanding that. Oh, there you go. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> 